What's going on? Tectonic Itch here. I am back. I am over COVID. Oh, I'm glad to be over that. That was about three days of just headaches and pain that I'm glad is in the past. Uh, voices recovered a bit because I had a few days where my voice was just creakily, craggly. I don't have good words to describe my voice when I've been coughing a lot. Anyway, we're back for some Tron. Going to be playing this build with the Emrakuls, the All is Dust, the Devourer of Destiny, Trenospheres, and the main board, the One Ring. This seems to be like the list that has been pulling in, um, or kind of standardizing as the list to be with the Emrakul, the World Anew. I've seen some lists running a forest uh, in addition to this, uh, cutting down. This one has the Gemstone Cavern. And in fact, you know what? Before I get started, let's do that. Uh, pull out Gemstone Cavern. Let's add a forest. Some builds have two sagas. I just want a green land for searching. I don't have anything to really play with a green land. Ah, what forest do we want? We'll take this forest. That's a good forest. All right, other than that, in, uh, no big changes with the deck. Eh. Maybe pulling out the Warping Whale and running something else. Eh, kind of like, eh, kind of like the one Warping Whale in the main. Anyway, we're going to be running with this list. We got the Underworld Cookbooks uh, to enable an early Emrakul. Chalice of the Void for the stall. Trinisphere for the stall. Congregate Creator, uh, if we can get him out early. And, of course, the Devourer of Destiny taking up the removal slash big creature spot. It's a nice combination. Plus, of course, it fills the spot of Ancient Stirring. Because uh, if it's in our opening and look at the top four. Let's go ahead and do it and get into the game. And we are into it. Round one. Didn't get the die roll, but that's okay. We'll wait for the opening hand. Meta is doing some interesting things right now. It's kind of stabilizing. Of course, uh, Bant Nadu is up the top. We got a few control builds, a little bit of Storm, uh, but Storm isn't as dominant as I uh, thought it would be just because there are plenty of decent answers. That is not the hand we are looking for. It's too slow. Maybe if we had a one fast land in there, or double mana, I'd consider that. But three... No way to get Tron. Turn three Trinosphere doesn't seem that good. We'll go for a better hand. Okay, you know, it's not that much faster. It's a lot more land, but I think that's going to be the keep. And we're hoping to find a seven drop at the top. To start turning on that Ugin's Labyrinth. Okay, so we're going to see the energy deck here. That one's been popular recently. Well. Ooh, that's a pretty good card if we had a way. Shame this isn't a, an Eldrazi instant. Or that would be really good. Or if we had a 7 drop, we could take that out in the early stage. We'll go Power Plant Expedition Map, though. Ooh, Champion of the Parish. That can get big. Um, double Champion of the Parish. Well, that's not what we're looking for. Um, I think getting rid of the energy enablers at this point. I might have gone for a parish if they didn't have two. And if I had a way to get Tron, I definitely would.
Yeah, those are getting big pretty quick. Come on, seven drop. Come on, seven drop. Hell, if we live, we have Tron for next turn. I don't, I, I'm not a hundred percent sure we live. Good news is they are out of things. We'll get Tron. Bad news is we're almost out of things. And we have a lot of lands that can't really do anything with low life. If I play the Karn, I lose the Karn. So I'd have to pre-get whatever I was going to get. Which is probably second one ring. Well, that makes this a little simpler. We're going to get a decent hand refuel here. They're going to take the free kill on the Karn. What we're really looking for is an all is dust. All right. Maybe this isn't the energy deck, or maybe it is. Uh, interesting. Luckily, this isn't the uh, Knight Errant of Eos I was thinking of, or we could have been in trouble. The one that can uh, be sacrificed itself to lock you down. That, uh, I wouldn't have been expecting it, and that would have got him the game. Is that a Norn the Wary? Okay. That's going to be something that will be a little tricky to deal with. Well, now we have choices.
Yeah, it'll be the turn after next. So we'll go for a one ring. Keep the new one. Else on one, sure. Emrakul is going to do some work. I wonder if they're ready for the Emrakul. I think they're setting me up, me up for the kill with the Emrakul next turn. Yeah, now they're attacking. Maybe not. They really should have uh, held up the Aether Vial to, you know, flash something in. And they're going to scoop to that. Yeah, I figured once they made their board that big. We just had to last long enough to find the Emrakul. All right, as far as sideboarding here, I'm pretty comfortable leaving everything in the board. The only thing I could go for is a stone brain to try and pick out maybe a sideboard card, but I'd rather have the chalice um, with the way their deck runs over the stone brain right now. Pretty good. I'll keep. Do I want a chalice on one here?
Uh, chalice on one might have been good. Hard to say. Okay, activate Aether Vial in response. Little fancy, but all right. Do I want to scry here? Yeah, because I'm looking for an Emrakul, I guess. Um, ah, bottom, bottom. Not what we were looking for. Um, all right. Ah, I should have gotten rid of something. Opponent is disconnected, so we might have a minute. Pretty much uh, in the mode I'm in right now, it is find the Emrakul that we can play for six. Oh, they're back. And we do have a good bit of stall. I don't think they're going to throw everything out like they did before, just in case I do have it. Or not. Well, that's a Gaddock Teague. And that is trouble for me. Uh, yeah, no, I have no good answer to a Gaddock Teague. Um, uh, maybe Trinosphere, but uh, I don't think that helps me uh, at the moment. I want the, uh, the tokens for blockers at this point. Oh, that's annoying amount of triggers.
All right, we get one turn. And unfortunately, we are short of land. And we find the fourth Karn. All right, that is going to be game. We, we had play up until the Gaddock Teague came in. That was a little bit painful. Being on the play is nice, though. Oh, we got a Devourer. We got almost Tron. I think that's going to be a keep. And there's a Tron land. So we're going for the traditional Tron opening here. Power plant, or map, mine to power plant to tower. It's just not the energy build, and they're just relying on the uh, Guide of Souls for its other effect. Luckily, we have the answer for that. It is funny that Gaddock Teague being two mana means technically... Well, I guess we can't cast it anyway because of that second line. But if it wasn't for that second line, we still couldn't hit him anyway because we'd have to cast this for four. But yeah, nope. Oh, they were relying on the Gaddock Teague. All right, yep. We ah, that's something you got to learn to play around because we di did technically reveal the Devourer. I guess no one thinks about Devourer beyond the first ability of the four. Didn't think it removed. Oh, Emrakul off the top. Yep, yeah, that would have been coming out before long. Um, so yeah, we likely had this game. Um, maybe a little bit of an early scoop, but I don't know what's in their hand, so it's hard to say. I'll take the win, though. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you think. Tectonic Edge here, signing out.